Hi guys, um, this is what we're going to start making today. I say start making because this could be a two part or maybe three part video because it's, although it's a very basic design, it's quite complicated to put together. Um, it's basically a farrier's vise. It only opens about five eighths of an inch, plenty to hold a shoe for rasping up, safing off edges. Um, can be used obviously for other thin stuff, thin material. Um, but this is what I have in the back of my farrier's van for uh, everyday use. It's fairly simple. It just consists of two bits of tube, one inside the other here, uh, some jaws and a lever. And inside here is a spring. And it simply operates with the lever. Put the shoe in. And that's, that's really got it. You can rasp it, rasp away with that and it's not going anywhere. Move it around, still got it. So there it is, fairly simple. As I say, not an awful lot to it. But it does need some explaining to put it together. So unfortunately I'd already started cutting the bits because I forgot to bring my video in when I started cutting them. So we'll go inside and I'll show you what I've done so far. 60 by 60 square box section. Um, it's about 3 16th wall. It's, it's over 8th anyway, so it's not, maybe not quite. It might be 4 mil. Um, but anyway, we've got that. And that is 12 and a half inches long. The top as you can see is cut at um, about 25 degrees there's no particular reason why that was the angle but uh, that's what I decided to do it at um, and in here we have milled out well, first of all I gas cut the rough edges rough piece out the middle then milled it out for the at the bottom here um, that one is about three inches by inch and a half, that way. Then again at the top, that was gas cut and then milled out just to tidy it all up. And that one is inch and a quarter by about three and a half. Um, these are all measurements that I made up myself. Um, through trial and error really, but they work. Um, and with this one, I may make a few modifications. Um, not quite sure what yet, but um, I've got a few ideas, which I shall let you know as we go along. Now the next piece we have is, again, already cut a piece of two inch box section. Now this one's 180 mil long. I know that because I've just cut it, or just earlier cut it which is about seven and an eighth. Um, and this one's only three mil or eight wall. Um, cut at 45, this one. Um, that does need to be fairly, well, it doesn't need to be accurate, but it needs to be greater than the 25 of the top piece. And basically, this slides inside the other one with the angle at the bottom. Um, the spring, difficult to see on here, will sit inside the inner box, which I will have to blank off at the bottom here. Um, spring sits in there, um, and the lever works through a series of brackets, which I'll show you uh, as we go. Um, that's about it so far. I have got next the next job. Is I've got marked out on this bit of I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, this is a bit of four inch by three eight, fairly substantial, and I've got marked off for the base plate and up here for the jaws. So we're going to go over to the saw and cut them off now and uh, see what uh, we can do. 
Okay, we've got the uh, metal set up in the saw. We'll cut it off. It might be a bit noisy. It might take a little while because I could do with changing the blade, but uh, I'll have to get one back off the uh, sharpeners. So let's see what happens. <coughs> Right, we'll now set it up for the angle for the for the jaws. I don't know what the angle is. So we'll give it a go setting it up. I've got it all torn out. Looks about that, which is. 31 degrees. It's not, again, it's not anything life threatening. It's just how I decided to, to make it. Yeah, that looks about right. Right, let's cut the first angle. take me a while it's going to be a bit boring so I'll switch you off for now and show you the results okay so we've cut the plates we've got the base plate and the two jaws which uh, I'm going to clean up now take off the rough edges round off the corners a little bit here make it nice and smooth and one of the improvements I said I might make, um, or thought I might make, is on the inside here, I might stick it up in the lathe and just put some grooves in, getting further and further out, just to give it a little bit of extra grip. Although the one I've got, that I've already made, is as smooth as this, and it holds like, you know, nobody's business, it could help. Um, in certain circumstances to have a few grooves in there just to give it a little bit of extra so that's one thing I might do so that's what I'm going to do next is tidy them up, get them ready and uh, then we'll see you for the next bit right we've got it uh, cleaned up taken the corners off and I've welded a little lug on the back of these jaws because uh, I've only got a tiddly little lathe and it won't hold them otherwise so we're going to just run them up now and just put some grooves in um, and see how it turns out
look. Yeah, it's come up quite nice. I'm just given a bit of grip, extra. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one and I'll get back to you once they're done. Okay, I'm now just going to draw the base plate. Um, it's just another little job out of the way that I can do fairly quickly. We're going to put a 8mm clearance in here. So I'm putting a, about an 8.5, something like that. Just enough to give us a bit of room. little thing I like to do. Many holes. It's just share for the edges, just take off the little rough sides. Stops any shearing action. to the next job.